Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to do some uh, modifications to my uh, battery charger discharger from uh, Setki Tech, uh, the EBC A10H. It's a very popular device, but I found already out in my testing that the uh, terminals were not, not tight enough to put my cables. Uh, the power switch is in the back. And also the encoder of the menu system was already a little bit tricky, especially when the encoder then doesn't work properly, it is even worse. So I also like to see, I have a few encoders that I used before, but uh, I replaced also one in this little radio and it gave me a lot of joy, more joy afterwards. So maybe it will be the same with this one. Well, here it is. These are very cheap, but they fit well. These are a little bit better quality, but it is just not a good size. It, I don't know, it's four and a half millimeters or something. It doesn't uh, fit well, it just falls out. So I have these nice, almost HP-like terminals. I like to use those. I will put the power switch, I think just here, somewhere here, to put it on and off. So you don't need to reach, reach all the way to the back. And the encoder, well, I have a few. I have, I think this is called Moon, long and short. And I have here with round also short and long shaft. So I need to see which fits better. Okay, this is round. So the Moon falls off and then I need to see which one is better. It sticks out a lot. I'm not sure I want this silver button because nothing is silver here. The rest, you know, when the rest becomes kind of this color, maybe this or this will be nicer. Maybe this feels nicer, but it looks a bit chunky. So probably this with all these and then it looks a lot more modern already. So let's see. Yeah, some people already said this power supply was not that good. It is quite noisy. So this could also be a possibility. This one is 24 volts, 5 amps. We can also look for something bigger like 30 volts. Then, then also you can charge a lot uh, higher voltage. But I will leave that now uh, as it is. And uh, well, we put a power switch. I need to see where it looks most nice. Maybe just the, with the display, if there is space enough to do it here. Well, it didn't fit completely. Here we have these little notches, so it doesn't start to spin when you turn it. And the middle ones, the holes were already a, a little bit bigger, but well, I needed to drill better. But because of these notches, I made sure it was a super tight fit, and it still is. And then I can do with my little file. I file in the, the notches to make it fit better.
Let's change the encoder. They seem to be the same. I hope the left and the right is also the same. So that looks a lot better. Look at these terminals. Woo, pretty cool. You can see that it is just much better quality. And also the encoder. It just feels so much better. And this button also fits better. And there is almost no edge in between. And still, well, it looks good. I only hope is that uh, that the encoder works the same way around. Otherwise, I need to change the two data pins. But uh, I can do that here on the PCB. It seems that they already did it themselves also. So that is just scratching and put two wires the other way around. But uh, let's just hope it is exactly the same way. And woo, it feels so much better. That's uh, all put back together again. Look at this. It looks beautiful. They should have done this from the start. The power switch, okay. That is clearly after. But this and this color. And ooh, it feels so good. And there is almost no edge and still. This is how it's supposed to be. Okay, now I need to do the power, but that is just a matter of connecting it here and connecting it there. And that's it. And then hopefully the encoder is the right way around. So the power is now also connected. I try to wire it as close to the normal power supply as possible. And leaving enough space also nicely tie wrapped. I think it is uh, properly done. Let's see if it all still works. Okay, power cable. The light is on. Here nothing is on. Switch on. It goes. And what about the encoder? Yeah, it goes the right way around. Woohoo! Lucky, lucky, lucky. Oh, yeah, it works so much better. So I can only say I'm very, very happy with the result. Proper switch in the front. An encoder that works. Although I found out later that my encoder maybe has a few uh, bits extra. So not all the... Not all the steps work. And then here, four steps, five steps work. And then... Uh, But the button works a lot better. I like that because 
you need to change your digits often. And that other one was really crappy. Perfect. So that's it. It will be much more pleasant to operate the device with the proper encoder. Also, the switch in the front is a lot better when it's actually here in my devices and I can't reach the back. And the terminals fit super, super good. But of course, those are those high quality terminals. And I also changed the color. So I have my uh, black and red. And for the sensing, I always have my blue and uh, yellow. And the terminals are exactly the same. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.